Hey guys, it's Bummer UK and today we're going to be reviewing the HD PVR2. Uh, thanks to her for sending this out, it's been an absolute pleasure working with them, uh, reviewing this product. Absolute amazing product. Alright, let's get into this. Straight out of the box, you have this nice little packaging on top of the HD PVR to protect it. We have this super sexy uh, brushed little effect on top, which is kind of like a matte black finish. And uh, this button right here, this is to record and uh, stop recording. But I have noticed a little bit of lag time from when you click it and when you actually start recording. So uh, it's probably faster to click the program itself on your computer. At the bottom of the product, we have a nice Apog logo. We have this nice illuminating strip around the HD PVR. When idle, it's very, very uh, dim. When actually recording, this lights up really nice and green. And uh, I really do like it when it's fully lit up and recording. On the back of the product, we do have a it power in, USB in, AV in, HDMI in and out. One thing that is improved with the HD PVR is the ventilation. There's absolutely endless amount of holes for ventilation to make this product absolutely as cool as it can be. Now I've got some size comparisons lined up for you guys. As you can see, there's the old HD PVR and the new one. There's my iPhone 5 uh, standing up right up against it. And you can see it's not actually too much taller. Here's the HD PVR 2 on top of it. And you can see it's about 40% smaller than the actual original HD PVR. To watch the HD PVR 2 in action, make sure you do click the quality test below and uh, you can check it out. Okay guys, here we have the um, Arcsoft Showbiz which comes with your HD PVR 2. Um, you just have to install it off the disc that you receive. And uh, here's all my video files that I've been re recording recently. All your like, transitions, uh, your effects up here um, to apply to your clips. You can add some text, all different text fonts, etc. Um, so here you can just drag, you, as I'll show you a little bit of a demo. You can drag some gameplays or clips on here. And then let's go get a nice little transition. It's kind of like... Uh, Windows Movie Maker I guess. <laughs> uh, it's not the best but it's certainly something to use if you don't have the Premiere you know, editing softwares. Uh, but yeah, that's about it for this little section. We've got the options which you can send it straight to YouTube. Here you can see that if you go produce you can either create it or upload it straight to YouTube. Um, I don't use this so I actually use Sony Vegas myself so I just render the clips and then you know put it into Sony Vegas etc. But here we have the capture module, so it's just about to load up. It takes a little while to load, but once it does, uh, you're ready to go, really. I uh, don't know why it takes a little while, but I guess it has to do loads of stuff. So here we can see our little preview. This is our little preview of our Xbox 360. Uh, they do actually like claim it to be an instant playthrough, so as you're moving on the Xbox, it will play instantly on here, but I don't actually believe it is. I've tried looking at both my Xbox and the PC at the same time, and uh, they're not really anywhere near the same kind of like a one second delay maybe but um, I certainly wouldn't recommend playing you know Xbox, PS3 or whatever via watching your PC you'll do absolutely horrendous, your KD will go you know down the plop alright, <laughs> so we have the um, option to choose HDMI etc down the word down here audio input as well so I have this both HDMI as a using HDMI you can record in 1080p and um, if you go to your settings once you actually set this up you want to actually set your um, your like resolution and stuff on your Xbox to 1080p. Otherwise, you know you won't be receiving the full quality. So make sure it's 1080p, not 720, not 1080i. It's 1080p. Just to make the most of the, using the HD PVR, you want the best quality possible. So here we have some uh, format settings. The thing is, yeah, we actually have loads of settings that we can must mess around with in here. We have the uh, all these, wow, look at that. Uh, you can up this to 14, which I have 14 megabytes here. This is the best to use, uh, the fastest encoding possible, I think. And um, we've got loads of settings we can muck, muck, bloody hell, mess around with in here. Okay, um, so that's about it for the software itself. To summarize the HD PVR, we're going to break it down to build quality, software, and price. Now, first of all, I've given build quality 4.5. The reason for this, the product is absolutely amazing, you can't really go wrong with the build quality, the design is awesome, really love how it's designed, uh, very nice and small etc. But uh, I've only given it a 4.5 instead of a 5 uh, because it is feeling a little bit light to me, I like to feel a nice heavy product in my hands, but um, you know, that's, you can't really go wrong with the HP VR2. For the software, I only gave it a 4 because you know, it's always the same software with the Hapag, uh, I'd like to see something new, uh, instead of this arcs of showbiz. Nevertheless, Arcsoft Showbiz is definitely a firm software, so don't get me wrong, it does everything you want it, uh, want it to do. There's nothing more you can really ask for. Apart from the streaming side of things, uh, the Elgato offers a streaming like within the program along with live commentary. Um, 
This is something the HTTP VR doesn't actually have, but the HTTP VR um, now has a program called um, StreamEase, which is made by her Pog, which allows you to stream straight from your HTTP VR to Twitch TV. Although they are, you know, updating this program to allow more functionality for um, more websites, uh, custom or TMP URLs, etc., like YouTube. Um, the price of this is 120 Great British pounds. Now this is four star as um, it's not the best price, it's not the cheapest capture card, but for what you get, it's definitely you know you can't go wrong with it. Now I fully recommend this product as a uh, I'm you know going to promote this product as much as I can. I do love this product. Now uh, I'm going to be using this for all my videos, and most of you might already know that I've been using this for quite a while. Got some 1080p videos out uh, if you can check on the channel. Uh, if you do want to buy this HTTP VR, you can find a link in the description. Uh, thanks for watching this video, guys, today. If you've got any more questions about this product, I will be happy to answer them all. Thanks, guys. This has been Dan, and uh, I'm out.